You are new to Unreal Engine 5 and want to know how to get rid of this gray and boring looking landscape? This basic landscape shader will teach you how. Let's get started. So before we can start with our material, we need some textures. If you don't have any, you can just click this little button, get to Quixel Bridge and then download whatever you want. So you just head over to search and then look for, I don't know, ground and then under surfaces, you can download whatever you want. For a better breakdown of Quixel Bridge, check out this video here. So obviously to create a material for our landscape here, we need to create a material itself. So we just right click, hit material and let's call it landscape. So we double click it and then let's double click it here again to maximize it. And now we could create it from scratch, but I already have it prepared. So I just paste it in but I'll give you a wonder on what's going on here. So here we can see we have three different types, rock, grass, and snow. I will rename these because um, they are not matching anymore, but you can name these frames, whatever you want. You just click the frame and change your name to, I don't know, test or whatever. So these are our three spots. You can use how many you like, but um, I'm using three in this example. So here we have our texture coordinate and a parameter to get to create a parameter. You just hold S and left click. And uh, that's basically a parameter just called tiling. And later on, we can change the tiling of the material. And we have this for all our three different textures. These go into a multiply. And then we have our three slots for our albedo, our mask, which has the roughness and the ambient occlusion, and for our normal map. And these all go into a make material attributes, which goes out into a landscape layer blend. And in the landscape layer blend, as you can see, we have three items and we will we name them to one, two, three, or you can call them whatever you want. But right now I just give them these names. And this will go into our main material but we need to change our material to use material attributes because these are attributes. So let's plug it in and make sure you click on all the textures and make sure the sample source is on web. So that basically allows you to use more textures in your uh, material if you want to. So make sure all of these are on shared web um, they should be, but just double check. So right now we need textures in our material, obviously, because right now everything is yeah, black. And to do this, I just head over to Megascans, Surfaces, and here I have my three textures. I just go in the first folder, I click my window, and sampler type is color, so I know the first one is uh, my albedo, but you can see uh, it, it also goes into the base color slot. So I just click this little texture and hit this arrow button. And now it's in the white slot. The next one is the mask. So the ORDP map and green is the roughness. Red is the ambient occlusion. You just click this map again, this little arrow and the sampler type is a mask because this is a mask, um, a mask texture. So if you open it up, and close the channels, you have your ambient occlusion in the wet channel, in the green channel, you have your roughness and the blue channel is the height map. And the last one is the normal map. You just click it again, go to the normal and hit the arrow. And now you do the same for the other texture. So I go back to my other texture and just apply everything. And now we have all our textures applied. So let me fix one thing. On this tiling, the default value is zero. It should be one because all the others also have one in it. And just save it. And now we have our main material ready to go. So as I said before, you can recreate this. It's super simple. So make sure to download the material and just copy paste it into your material you can create with right click. So we can close this material for now. And now let's right click our material and create a material instance. So if we open this instance, we have all these values, which we don't need. We just need this one. This is the tiling. 
this is the little note I just fixed and this applies for all the three textures we have in the material. By the way, it's normal that it's black in the preview. It's all good. We just want to enable the tiling, hit save. And now we can apply our material to the landscape. So just click on your landscape and down below here where it says landscape material, you just grab your landscape material, drag and drop it, give it a few seconds. And now we have some black landscape. Perfect. That's normal by the way, because we use a weight for this um, material. So we need to hit over to our landscape mode. You can click here and then landscape or shift two. And now we are in the landscape painting mode. So we can paint, but there isn't much going on because we need to assign weight blended layers. So to do this, we just hit this little plus and then hit weight blended layer where it says normal. And we can save it in just in the content folder and hit save. Give it a second and let's do it again. Weight blended layer normal, weight blended layer normal. So now we have our three layers applied. We could start painting. So if you start painting, it can happen that your system will lag a little bit. That's normal if you paint a layer which wasn't painted before on the terrain. So um, that is normal. Let me lower the brush size and let's go for the layer two and see what happens. So as you can see, we just painted a different texture and with this little fall off slider, you can control how sharp or soft the fall off is. So wine is roughly in the middle and let's switch to layer three and let's give it a click again. And as you can see, we now have three different textures blending into each other. So that's the first texture, the second one, and the third one. And the blend is quite soft, quite nice. It's not a harsh blend. But right now we have a lot of reputation. We have a ton of tiling going on. And you really should check out this video here where I show you how to get rid of the tiling and how to work around it with some noise patterns. So check out this video and see what you can do about tiling.